there. I know you know a lot about Cloudflare already, right? We've got this giant network. We stopped DDoS attacks and we have this whole zero trust ecosystem. We have all that stuff. But there's a chance that you don't yet know about our developer platform. And that's totally fine if you haven't heard of it yet. I just wanted to warn you that we're going to get pretty noisy about it here in a bit because Developer Week is coming up. There are over 3 million developers already building on our platform, and we'd love for you to come build too. Let's run through what we call the Cloudflare stack. So uh, I've got this broken up into some categories. First of all, I want to talk about compute. You need your, your code. You need Your code needs to run someplace. Workers are kind of like serverless functions, but they're JavaScript isolates. So uh, very, very fast, cold, no, no cold boot at all, uh, immediately on, uh, globally distributed wherever your users are. Uh, and as you know, Cloudflare does very good at doing stuff like that. Uh, we have full stack apps that you can do there with frameworks. We have queues. Oftentimes, you're going to want to be able to to push that that off to uh, fan things out. So, so the queues are really great for that sort of thing. All native, primitive things that you can use to make your code better, like workflows, right? If you have this durable execution, you want something to go, you want it to sleep for a while. Maybe if it hits a bug, you want it to retry. Great. You just kind of define these tasks and they get done. Excellent stuff. Uh, and of course, you know, you can, what's an application if you don't have data uh, to do that? So we have data. So we have a KV key value store. Very, very fast read all over uh, the world. Immediately there, uh, you should check it out. And uh, we have R2 which uh, we like to say stands for robust or reliable, but really it stands for whatever you want. And if you move that letter up to R, you move it up to S, you move the two up to three, you see that it's S3. It's S3 compatible object storage, except there is no egress fee. Yes. All right. So then we also have D1, which is our uh, da database, globally distributed database, uh, SQLite, excellent uh uh, you're, you need a database, and there's one there for you. Um, and if you already have a database, Hyperdrive uh, allows you to connect. We do all the connection pooling for you. We use the network for you. Really check it out because you get a URL, use your existing code, just swap it out. It's awesome. And durable objects are this amazing uh, bell of the ball, in my personal opinion, uh, where you can build this little actor model uh, thing where you build an instance of this class, and it goes out, and it has really awesome real-time connectivity uh, which is becoming more important that in the applications that we build, a unique instance that is addressable and you can get to it through real-time communications, super powerful. And uh, tune in here because there's some great stuff coming uh, this week that will really let you play with this even more. And you're going to see a lot of good uh, solutions in this space. So we also have media, whole media suite. We have images. If you need to transform images or you need to... Um, or uh, resize, or, or maybe like do a face gravity, get it, get it with all sorts of cool image transformations available for you. There, we help you store them, help you uh, get stuff out in the most fast, optimized way. Speaking of optimization, we also have stream, which allows you to stream live video uh, uh, to to wherever you go. Uh, and speaking of streams, we're going to be streaming uh, uh, all of our talks about what's happening uh, this week on uh, Cloudflare Developers YouTube and on, at Cloudflare Devs. Uh, on our Twitter handle there. So uh, make sure you check both of those out. Uh, and we also have the ability, a nice ability to do some web RTC to do calls, right? So maybe you have a video and you want to share the video and the audio and you want to connect those two together. Lots of cool stuff happening in that space, especially around AI, right? And then we, of course, have AI models. We host AI models for you. We've got text generation, we have image generation, uh, text embedding, models, we can, uh, all sorts of things, any sort of tasks that you can think of there. We have a partnership with Hugging Face, so we are able to host open models for you. So you don't need to go and do that. And we do the scheduling and it is, we sprinkle GPUs all over that network. So uh, wherever, wherever your users may be, we're there with the models waiting for them. Awesome. We also have vectorized. So a vector database, very important in uh, doing rag based applications. If you're trying to have your data and use, uh, use that data, uh, vectorized is a great uh, use case for that. Uh, AI Gateway is awesome. If you're running these AI applications and you're worried about uh, okay, worried about safety there, we have a guardrails thing there. If you're worried about how well it's doing, we have evals and we have a nice way of looking at how people are using your application as well as tracking how many tokens. And it's not just for uh, the models that we host, it's for all models. Uh, and if you want to do fallbacks and that sort of thing, that's a great place to go and uh, use that. Check that out. If you know Cloudflare tools already, that's going to feel very familiar and very, very good. Uh, we also launched an agents framework. So now if you want to build AI agents, which I'm sure that you do, your boss is probably like, hey, I want you to build an AI agent. Or if you are the boss, you're like, hey, which I don't have an AI agent. 
You should. Uh, and this is a great way to do it. This sits on top of the powerful uh, durable object pattern. Lots of great stuff coming out every day about this stuff. I would love for you uh, to get your hands on this and learn more about it. And of course, you know, we are supporting, you probably heard this, the MCP, the Model Context Protocol, allowing all of uh, uh, APIs and tools that are out there to work across the internet in a standard way, right? A, a model context protocol. We've got lots of work that we're doing on there, allowing you to run your own remote server. But I'm done talking. I think it's time for you to just check out the rest of Dev Week. So again, we're streaming. Make sure that you follow Cloudflare devs on Twitter and Cloudflare developers on YouTube. So I hope you feel a little more in the know as we start announcing all the amazing new things during Developer Week. It's gonna be a blast. We'll see you there.